Hello everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Allay and today I'm gonna speak about the chemistry of toothpaste. So let's begin with the introduction. Toothpaste is a paste that is used on a toothbrush for cleaning teeth and a product well known by Americans and also it is used frequently each day. I chose to research toothpaste because I wanted to show people how much chemistry is involved in something as simple and commonly used as toothpaste. Toothpaste affects everyone's life and it is something that I also use twice a day to keep my teeth shining, fresh and my gums healthy. So now let's dive into the topic. Teeth brushing became a daily habit for protecting them from tooth decay or cavity formation. But what's the chemistry of toothpaste? And how do they work? Teeth are composed of two major parts, the crown and the root. The roots of teeth are embedded in the maxilla, the upper jaw or the mandible, the lower jaw, and are covered by our gums. The crown is the visible portion that extends above the gums. Enamel, which is a glossy white hard coating, it is composed primarily of the mineral which is crystalline calcium phosphate. The enamel is the hardest substance in the human body, but it is brittle, subjected to injury and can also be worn down by appressification or acidic foods. The layer located beneath the enamel is called the dentin. Dentin is a bone-like calcified connective tissue with an organic matrix of collagenous proteins. Dentin is also not as hard as enamel and although it is a protective layer and it is susceptible to decay with a greater rate than that of enamel. Cementum is a specialized bone-like substance which covers the root of a tooth. It is approximately 45% hydrosipatite and 33% collagen and 22% water. The dental pulp is the central part of the tooth filled with soft connective tissue. The pulp contains vessels and nerves that enters the tooth from a hole at the apex of the root. The pulp is commonly called the nerve of a tooth. Enamel is constantly under attack. It can be chipped or damaged and can be dissolved by acid. Dental plague is a mixture of bacteria firmly adhering to the tooth surface. Bacteria from the plague in our mouth feeds on the carbohydrates, sugars we eat and produce two things. Firstly, acid, which eats into tooth enamel and produce cavities. And also volatile sulfur molecules which can give brief and unpleasant odor. The demineralization process of enamel occurs by dissolving of hydrocyclopatite and formation of soluble ions. And now a very important point here is that the most important ingredient of toothpaste is fluoride. It replaces the hydroxyplatate of toothpaste with fluoropatite making an equilibrium between mineralization and demineralization processes, so keeping the enamel layer safe and against acid action. Fluoropatite is not only much stronger, but also resistant to caries. And the other toothpaste ingredients are abrasives, which used for cleaning and polishing the dental plague and food debris and binders, they can be natural or synthetic polymers. 
They are used to stabilize toothpaste formulations to prevent separation of the liquid and solid phases. Humectant is also used in toothpaste to prevent loss of water and subsequent hardening of the product upon exposure to air. Flavors sweeteners are the ones which improve the taste of the toothpaste and preservatives are the ones that prevent the growth of bacteria or other microorganisms in toothpaste. And lastly, we move on to a conclusion with the chemistry of toothpaste. Egyptians were the first people to use toothpaste in the 5000 BC. In the 18,000s, Colgate became the first to commercially sell toothpaste. Most people did not buy toothpaste, but rather made it at home using makeshift charcoal recipes. Today, toothpastes are composed of all sorts of flavoring, sweeteners, and other ingredients to preserve it. More modern improvements include whitening toothpaste and toothpaste with triclosan. The new types of toothpaste include the types for people with sensitive teeth and fluoride toothpaste to slow decay. It was not until 1850s that toothpaste became a liquid. Previously, it was a powder and sold in jars. In the late 1890s, Colgate came out with the collapsible toothpaste tube that was invented by Dr. Washington Sheffield. And by now, this brings us to an end. I sincerely appreciate your attention today. I can see that our time is just about to finish.